Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to our prayers for this week, which begins today. I hope you've had a very good week so far. May God keep us till the end of the week and beyond. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for bringing us together one more time. We bless your name for keeping us since we left here last Friday. We ask that your spirit will lead us and guide us in everything we do tonight. We pray that there will be no interference from the pits of hell. We ask you, Lord God, that the heavenly hosts will gather together with us and lead us. Father, we pray that you go and quicken those who are yet to come join us and remind them that it's another time to pray. Give us strength. In Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. And amen. And amen. Sister BC, it's good to see you tonight. First in line. Pastor David Bonate, I keep asking whether it's you or your wife because I thought you would be at work, but wherever you are, at least your name is the one that shows up on the screen and we welcome you to the program tonight. My good friend, Michael Sampson from Nigeria, God bless you. Uluafiropo Joe, thank you for joining us tonight all the way from Maryland. Dickin Stephen Olajobi, thank you for being here tonight. May God bless us all together. Sister Kareen, I'm always happy to see you online. God bless you. I see someone that looks like uh, Minister Angelo. Oh, he just showed up. I actually saw your picture on my screen. You know, your beard actually gives you away. So once I see your picture anyway, I know it's you because of your beard. I think I'm going to grow beard myself. I don't know how it look like. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I'm too old for beard now. All right. Maybe we'll get a vote in church one day. How many of you want Bishop to grow a beard? And then we'll see who wins. All right. Good to see you, Sister Lovelyn. God bless you. I don't know what Lovelyn will vote for, whether for or against. We'll see. Sister Bola, do you want me to grow a beard or not? I think you will say no because your husband has no beard on. God bless you. For me, what do you think? I think you are too far from us to say that. Elder Raji. I'm thinking of growing a beard like uh, Minister Angelo. Should I do it? Should I not do it? All right, send in your vote with $1,000 each. Yeah, if you want to vote, you pay. I think I should make it $10,000. <laughs> you know, church these days, they use anything to raise money. And people will give it. It's unbelievable. But we thank God for each and every one of you. All right, Sister Lovelyn says she's against. All right. A lot of mercy. All right, Sister Lovely is against Bishop growing a beard. And uh, Minister Angelo said, I'm for it. I'll be surprised if you are not, because I'm trying to follow your footsteps. <laughs> well, we bless the name of the Lord. Sister Bola, what are you typing? Ah, Sister Bola said, no. Yeah, I can imagine, because... Uh, your husband is against. Oh, David Bonate, my pastor, said I'm against. All right. You've all won. I think I'll just keep my face the way it is. Hallelujah. Sister BC said no, sir. All right. I hear you, ma'am. <laughs> well, bless the name of the Lord. I don't think we've ever opened up like this before. All right. Just a little fun tonight. I think uh, my quest for... Growing a beard has failed, uh, Minister Angelo. You are all alone. I cannot join you. <laughs> you know, style comes and style goes. There was a time when everybody was clean shaven. And now, if you don't grow a beard, 
you are not born again. <laughs> we thank God. We can't say you are wrong. God gave you the hair. Grow it on. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. I want to say again that I hope you've had a good week so far. We well, bless the name of the Lord for you. <laughs> Sister Dawn said, no, no, no. She said it three times. Wow. I think I better, I better stop this poll because growing beard will not work. Bishop Oyango, all the way from Kenya. God bless you. Thank you for joining us tonight. We pray that today will be a day of blessing for us. The scriptures we are using for our prayers tonight, they revolve around the freeing of Israel from the bondage in Egypt. As you all know, the bondage came with great affliction that lasted for very many generations. You know that story, don't you? But God came through for them, and God freed them without Israel firing a single shot. Amazing. Our deliverer is truly very strong and very mighty. That is why our theme is about him. And whatever pain and whatever suffering we may be going through, he's able our deliverer from affliction. That will be the theme for our program for tonight. Get ready. Because there is a lot of truth embedded in the passage of scripture we're going to read. Our deliverer from affliction. We all know what affliction is. Simply put, as the dictionary puts it, it says something that causes pain or suffering. That's what affliction is. Something that causes pain or suffering. Listen, people. I was telling someone the other day. Ah, There's not a short supply of pain in this world that we live in. Pain. Pain. I bet if you meet 10 people, they may be smiling. They may be laughing. But if you dig deep down into their lives, they are having something that is giving them pain or some things that are giving them pain. The world is full of pain. I mean, some pains are deeper than others, but trust me, pains are everywhere. In fact, one of the reasons Christ came is to deliver us from pain, and you know what pain they put him through. You know what pain they put his mother through. Affliction means something that causes pain or suffering. And if you will be honest with yourselves, you will know there is a pain that you are nursing. It may be a pain that is connected to your children. It may be a pain that is connected to your health. It may be a pain that is connected to your body business. It may be a pain that is connected to your spouse. It's a world full of pain and it's a world full of suffering. Not everybody will be able to say that I'm suffering, but virtually everybody will say there is some type of pain in my life. It could be a physical pain. It could be an emotional pain. It could be any pain of any kind. The world is full of of pain. I've got mine. Seriously. I've got mine. You know, we preachers, we, we act as if we don't have any pain. We all do, my friends. Elijah was a man of like passions like us. He had his own pain. <laughs> In fact, his pain was so bitter, he told God, come and kill me. I can't take this anymore. That's how deep-rooted pains can be. Those twin brothers, pain and suffering, they are all around. Unfortunately, a good chunk of our pains and sufferings are from fellow human beings, as we see about Israel in Egypt. Most of our pains are caused by people. 
That's right. I was telling someone before we went on the air that I know of a lady that passed, you know, she didn't die. I mean, she passed through my life uh, a couple of years ago. Some of you in our church know her, but you don't know her. And um, someone gave her HIV. That's what it was. Someone who knew he had HIV gave her HIV in Africa with the hope that he will leave a baby before he died. It's not these days where, you know, it's very rare for someone to die from HIV. So he knew he was going to die because he had full-blown AIDS. And he invited this girl to come to Africa from Europe to come marry him. She got to Africa, and he met her at the airport. He looked so sick. So he asked her, what's wrong with you, my sweetheart? And he said, it's malaria. He said, malaria? Malaria turned you into this? Well, anyway, he, she forced her. I mean, she forced him to go to the doctor. And it was all arranged. The doctor said, yeah, 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 yeah. Is, is malaria he has but he knew he was HIV positive and full blown AIDS that, that doctor should lose his license but anyway they got married and um, she got back to London never had any pregnancy and after a few months she discovered she had HIV and she traveled to the United States and uh, came to see me. And people, the day she told me her story, I usually don't cry when people tell me their story in counseling. When she told me her story, I had to excuse myself, went into the bathroom and cried a little bit. And then I came back looking strong. Up till today, up till today, she still has HIV. I mean, she left my church uh, after several years. I don't know where she is now. I've not seen her in years. But if I call her, I still have her number. If I call her up, she will, because we're still good friends. Because we reached out to help her a lot. And she's forever grateful for that. But a man did that to her. And up till today. She's still HIV positive. I remember that time when she came into the church one day and she said, Bishop, she, she, she had a covering on her hair, so she removed the covering. And she said, Bishop, look at my head. And the, head, the hair was gone. She said, it's from the medication I take for HIV. And when I comb my hair, it just takes a chunk of my hair out. She cried. Every time she came to my office, she cried. We kept it under wraps. Uh, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know that she had that issue. Never, never, never directly or indirectly let people know. But at the same time, we protected people. And I told her to please protect yourself from spreading this thing. The point I'm trying to make is somebody put a pain in her life and the pain will be there until she dies except if Jesus heals her. The pain will be there. And it's, it's just sad. She's still single till today. She never got married. So human beings have, their experts are putting pains in people's lives. Husbands and wives. Show me someone who is divorced. I can tell you there is pain there. A husband has put a pain in the wife's life. A wife has put a pain in the husband's life. But we thank God this kind of affliction, Jesus can take care of it. And the pain even gets mysterious and the, the suffering gets mysterious when it becomes spiritual. When spiritual attacks come against you, bringing pain into your life and Bring in suffering into your life. I can go on and on and on tonight. I'm actually going out of my out of my text. But the thing is that I thank God for his tender mercy 
that delivers those who cry to him under any form of affliction. We thank God for that. So whatever afflictions you may be under tonight, may God use this story of the Israelites to give you hope as we pray together, our deliverer from affliction. Let me quickly read our text. It's in the book of Exodus chapter 3. I'm reading from verse number 7. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them from the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them out of that land to a good land and a large, to a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come to me, and I've also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. Now come therefore, and I will send thee to Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. A couple of thoughts. Let me quickly run through 11 of them, and then we'll go and pray. Number one, God is fully aware of the affliction of his people. He's fully aware. Whatever affliction you're going through, he knows about it. He knows about it. He sees it. That's what he said. He said, I've seen, I've seen the affliction of my people. So don't say nobody knows. God knows. Number two, he knows who is behind the affliction. <laughs> Every, most, of, most afflictions that are from human beings, you know, God knows who, who the reasons are. Who caused that to happen to you? He knows who is behind it. And tomorrow we're going to pray about that. The Lord also knows the taskmasters working for the strong man behind the affliction. Yeah, there's someone who wants to afflict you. He goes to the taskmasters. Many times those are the voodoo people, the juju people, the, the, uh, the root workers, the obia man. He will help them put something on you that is heavy. God knows them too. But also he knows the nature of our affliction. He knows the length of our affliction. In the case of the children of Israel, it was generational affliction. And that's what I want to say to you. Afflictions can last for long, generation to generation to generation. And it can be handed over from generation to generation. Like the affliction of sickness. It can be handed over from generation to generation. But whether it is sickness or whether it is a physical uh, attack, the Lord still delivers from them all. Number six, the Lord sees the sorrows that are brought about by the affliction. Yeah. Many times afflictions will bring sorrows. Then the Lord hears the cries triggered by every affliction. <laughs> affliction makes people cry, oh. Like the lady I just told you, I had to cry. Because there was water in her eyes. But you know the cry that God hears? God hears the cry of prayer. He also hears the cry of pain. Prayer and pain, prayer and pain. He hears those cries. Number eight, the Lord uses the oppression. The Lord sees the oppression that accompanies every affliction. Yeah, oppression accompanies affliction. Number nine, the Lord is guaranteed to come down to deliver the afflicted that cry unto him. If you have an affliction, use it to cry. Use it to cry to God. And you'll be surprised the victory that God will give you. Number 10, the Lord ensures that the afflicted is not only brought out, yes, but also taken from a bad land to a good land. Taken from a land full of restrictions, pains, and sufferings to a large and free land. And from a dry land, hallelujah, to a land flowing with milk and honey. Is a God who recovers and repositions his people. And I'm believing God that the same thing will happen for you. The last that I have here makes me happy. 
the Lord sometimes will anoint a human helper to be the human face for the bringing out of his people from the place of pain and from the place of suffering. God will just let you come in contact with someone or put someone in your life like he put Moses in the lives of these children. And God used him to bring them out. I pray that God will raise somebody up for you. Maybe a doctor. Maybe a lawyer. Someone who will help you through this, your pain, and through this, your suffering, and bring you to a place of victory. Now, these 11 things that I just read will form the basis of our prayer. Not for tonight. For tomorrow night. All right? I'm not going to even touch these 11 points. For today, we're going to pray about general issues that is connected to afflictions. But before we begin, please take a minute to share the link to the platform that you're watching us on or listening to us on. That action, that kindness, might very well bring an end to the pain and to the suffering of many years for someone among your contacts. Do them that great favor. They will be forever grateful to you. I've talked for a long time tonight deliberately. I hope it's blessed you. Now let us go into prayer. Let's begin with thanksgiving. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you for allowing us to be together again tonight. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. I want you to get into the mood of prayer. I want you to get into the spirit of prayer right now. Thanking God that we are together again. I'm so happy to be back. And I bet you are happy to be back also. God is so good to bring us together again tonight. Father, we praise you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Praise him for his protection on us since we left here last Friday. Father, we thank you for watching over us since last week, Friday. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us through Sunday, through Saturday, through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And today, another day is here, Thursday. Father, we bless you. For many people, it's already Friday. We thank you, Lord God. We couldn't keep ourselves even if we wanted to. We couldn't watch over ourselves even if we wanted to. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for watching over us day in, day out. Thank him. For the many prayers God has answered us and the ones he will yet answer us. Father, we praise you for that. We praise you and we worship you. Thank him for the prayers of last week on how he delivers us as lions roaring and birds flying. We give God the praise for his deliverance. Thank him because as king of the universe, God is stronger than the king of the jungle. Yes. Even though he likens himself to the king of the jungle, he is the king of the universe. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you because the king of the universe is my daddy. I can say I am safe in this world because I've got such a mighty father on my side. I want you to thank him because wherever you go, you have the escort of the lion of the tribe of Judah with you. And everywhere you go, they recognize that lion beside you. And those who are out to do you harm cannot. They have to run. Father, I bless you. Father, I thank you, Lord, because I have you by my side when I'm sleeping. And if anyone wants to come while I'm sleeping, he sees the lion of the tribe of Judah. He, he runs. Father, we glorify you for being with us. And all these things are free. Glory be to your holy name, O God. Lord, I thank you because wherever we go, you are there. Hallelujah. That's why we are not afraid to go to anywhere. That's why we are not afraid to confront anything because we know we are not confronting alone. We've got a lion of the time of Judas by our side. What do we need to fear for? I want you to thank God because he also delivers us like a bird would deliver her children. Thank him for the swiftness, the swiftness in flying to your rescue whenever you cry to him like birds do. God has been so good. God has been so gracious. There were some things I prayed about last week. I never even thought those prayers would ever be answered. To my greatest surprise, 
two or three days, the answer came, and I said, what? This is amazing. I want us to thank God for the God who does amazing things for us, who comes to our rescue when we cry to him. I want you to thank him because of his power to save, to deliver, and to provide for us. Father, I will bless you. I want you to thank God for the prayers of tonight on God being your God who delivers from pain, who delivers from suffering. And I told you, and I'm still telling you, the world is full of pain. I would say over 90% of the people on this prayer line have one pain or another in their lives. You've come to the right place tonight and tomorrow night. Thank him because he sees all that you are being subjected to. The pain, the suffering, the affliction. Father God, we thank you because you are such a good God. You are the omniscient God. You have eyes to see. You see everything that goes on in us, that goes on around us. You see everything that men do to us. You see everything that men should not do to us, but they do. And you see the things that men should do, but they don't do. Father, we bless you because you are the God who has eyes all over you. You can see to the front, you can see to the back, and you can see sideways. So no matter where we are, we know you see us. Father, we bless you. We worship you for that. Bless his name because he has the power. He does not only see, but he has the power to bring you out, no matter how powerful the oppressor is. There is no oppressor too powerful for this God that we have come to pray to tonight. There is no oppressor too strong for this God that we have come to call upon tonight. I want you to thank him. No oppressor on your job. No oppressor in your church. No oppressor in your family. It's as strong as this great God. Father will bless you. Father will worship you. I want you to pray that he will lead us as we call upon him tonight. I want you to pray that sin will not hinder us as we pray. That the Lord will forgive every sin of omission. Forgive every sin of commission. Whatever sin, O oh Lord, is sin in our lives. We pray that the blood of Jesus will cleanse us and wash us and purge us and purify us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let every sin, every sin of omission, every sin of commission, every sin of ignorance, the blood of Jesus will wash us and cleanse us tonight. Father, we pray that you would deal with unbelieving me. You would deal with unbelieving your people. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus, break the yoke of sin. Break the yoke of unbelief in our lives. We plead the blood of Jesus against unbelief. We plead the blood of Jesus against doubt. We plead the blood of Jesus against double-mindedness. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, I want you to pray that God will give you grace to be able to pray tonight. You know, he said, without me, you can do nothing. I want you to pray that God will pour grace upon you. That God will pour grace upon me even as I lead these prayers. That I will be energized and enabled to lead the prayers of tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray for our friends outside the United States, especially in Africa and Europe. They are the ones who are still, uh, every, the, 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 the day is still dark, if I may say so. I want us to pray that they are supposed to be sleeping at this time. That the Lord will keep them awake, the Lord will keep them alert. I see several of them. One of them told me last week, said, Bishop, it was so hard to stay awake during the prayer. I fought against sleep. I want us to pray that they will not have to fight tonight. It will be easy for them to pray. It will be easy for them to call on God. Father, give them strength. Give them strength. Give them grace to be able to stay up for the next 30 minutes or so that we have to call on you tonight. And I want us to pray for everyone, everyone in Europe, everyone in Africa, everyone in the Caribbean islands, everyone in Canada, everyone in the United States, everyone in South America, everyone in Asia. We pray for all of you that grace will be poured out upon this prayer line tonight. Father, pour out your grace upon this prayer line tonight and help us to be able to call upon you. Even as we cry to you, our deliverer, deliverer from affliction. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I'm thinking of something right now. Maybe I, I was talking about ex-wife, ex-husband. Even your present wife, your present husband may be the ones that are bringing you pain and suffering. 
the Lord is able to deliver. The Lord is able to break that yoke in them. The Lord is able to change them. The Lord is able to turn them around. So what I want you to do tonight is have at the back of your mind what your pain is, what your suffering is. I want you to have it at the back of your mind because we're going to be specifically mentioning to God what our pains are, what our sufferings are. And we're going to be blessed praying that God will have mercy upon us. Whatever your pain is, I want you to come, I want you to come to the to the uh, to the front of your mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you married the wrong husband. It has become pain for you. Maybe you married the wrong wife. It has become pain for you. Maybe you even married the right wife, but the wife comes with pain, a package of pain. You never saw that. The, the man came with a package of pain and you are carrying it around even though you are smiling. I just want us to pray that whatever our pains are, the Lord will come and give us release. The Lord will come and give us relief and give us victory in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight, thanking God for the last time, for giving you the grace to cope with the pain around your life, with the suffering around your life. God has helped you to be able to cope. You still love him. You still love people. You still love working for God. In spite of how difficult things are, in spite of how painful things are, in, part, in spite of how life has treated you, in spite of how people have treated you, God is still keeping you keeping on. You are still smiling. You are still praying. You are still reading the Bible. You are still having hope. You still have the goal of heaven at the back of your mind. Father will bless you. That's your sustaining power. That's your sustaining grace. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Give us grace even as we pray tonight. Give us grace even as we call upon you tonight. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Say, oh Lord, round them up. Round them up. All my pains tonight. Round up all my pains tonight. And turn them to gains for me in the name of Jesus. Usually pains make you to lose. I want you to pray that God will grab your pains in the name of Jesus. And turn them around in the name of Jesus. And give you the victory over your pains in the name of Jesus. And turn around your pains to gains in the name of Jesus. That God will turn around your pains to gains in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know pains will make you lose. I want you to pray that my pains will not turn into losses for me, God. My pains will turn into gains for me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to pray, O oh Lord, round them up, round them up, round them up, round them up. Round them up, all my pains, O oh God. You know them all. I cannot even mention them all. <laughs> I cannot tell them all. They are too many. Father, round them up for us tonight and turn them into gains, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, that was what you did in Egypt for the children of Israel. You took their pains and you turned it into gains. Hallelujah. That when they were living, what a, what, what a glorious day, the day they left. Gold and uh, silver and blessings uh, that Egyptians gave them. You are going to leave one day, my friend. You are going to leave this pain behind. God is going to touch this pain pain miraculously and turn it into gain. Father, begin to do that tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to pray that all your sufferings will get the attention of heaven from tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, let all my sufferings get your attention, O oh God, as I pray tonight. Father, let all my sufferings get your attention as I pray tonight. I want you to mention your pains tonight at the beginning of this prayer. I want you to mention your sufferings tonight at the beginning of this prayer. I want you to pray physical pain, emotional pain, material pain, and say, oh Lord, I cast this one on you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever it is that is bringing you pain, whoever it is that is bringing you pain, say, oh Lord, I grab them all together and I cast them on you tonight. It says, casting all your cares on him, for he careth for you. 
Come on, grab them and throw them at Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, there is no burden that you cannot carry because you are the burden bearer. You are the pain bearer. You are the suffering bearer tonight. I cast them on you, O God. If it is a human being, cast them on to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, if it's a health situation that is causing you pain and suffering, cast it all to God tonight. If it is a business problem, Problem. Cast it on to God tonight. Uh, oh Lord, whatever our pains, whatever our suffering, uh, physical pain, uh, physical pain, uh, emotional pain, uh, material pain, uh, physical suffering, uh, emotional suffering, uh, material suffering, uh, whatever it is, mention the, mention the name specifically to God. Uh, if it's a human being, mention his name or her name uh, and say, oh Lord, uh, I cast them on you tonight. Carry this burden for me. Uh, carry this pain for me, O oh God. Uh, carry this affliction for me, O oh God. Uh, you know, I prefer to use the word pain and, and, and suffering instead of affliction, uh, but they are all the same thing. Uh, every affliction, O oh Lord, I carry all my afflictions up to you. I carry all my pains and sufferings to you, O oh Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, say, my Father, no matter how long I've been under any pain, uh, no matter how long I've been under any suffering, uh, deliver me like you deliver Delivered Israel, O oh God. Israel had been under this suffering for not one year, not two years, not ten years, not hundred years, not even two hundred years. They moved from generation to generation to generation to generation. But God came and delivered them. Say, O oh Lord, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, O oh God. O oh Lord, uh, no matter how long I've been under this pain, no matter how long I've been under this suffering, Papa, deliver me like you delivered Israel tonight. Father, deliver us like you delivered Israel tonight. In the name of Jesus, come and open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Israel was under this one for centuries. No, yes, yes, centuries, not decades. So decades upon decades upon decades, centuries. But God came one day, one day, one day, one day and delivered them. Oh Lord, as you did everything and you got rid of the Egyptian affliction, I want you to say, oh Lord, go to every land to set me free. Go to every land to set me free, oh God. You did everything to get rid of affliction from Israel, from the Egyptian affliction. You did everything to set Egypt free, to set Israel free from the Egyptian affliction. Papa, go and do it. Go to every length. Go to any length to set me free, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Papa, I cannot dictate to you what you must do. Papa, I cannot tell you what you must do. But you know what you can do, O oh God. You know what my own case, O oh Lord, requires. Father, whatever my case requires to put an end to this pain, whatever my case requires to put an end to this affliction, Papa, do it. Papa, give me. Papa, do it. Papa, give me. Oh, Lord, go to every length. Go to any length to set me free like you set Israel free from the affliction. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, I told you something earlier. I said it's people afflicting people. People afflicting people. Oh, God. I want you to say the Lord will rescue you. Papa, rescue me. Rescue me. Rescue me. Rescue me from people afflicting me. Afflicting me physically, afflicting me spiritually, afflicting me mentally. Oh God, afflicting me emotionally. Papa, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me from people that are afflicting me. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You know, some things that happen to you, and you just say, Hmm, you know, things that happen to you that bring tears to your eyes. Did you pray, Lord, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me? If you know what people do to people, like the story I just told you at the beginning, people do bad stuff to people, especially in this day and age. I want you to pray wherever I've been physically afflicted, spiritually afflicted, mentally afflicted. Oh Lord, rescue me from these people. If you know them, mention their names, that the Lord will change them and rescue you from their wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know what was so bad about Israel? They had no power to deliver themselves. No, 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 no. Israel had no power to deliver her 
herself. I want you to pray, Lord, I have no power myself. Oh, I have no power to deliver myself from my pains. Mm. I have no power to deliver myself from my sufferings. Use your mighty power to deliver me as you delivered Israel. In the name of Jesus, come on, open your mouth and please pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, tell the Lord, I don't have any power to deliver myself from my pains. I don't have any power to deliver myself from my sufferings. Father, use your mighty power to deliver me tonight. Even as you deliver the children of Israel when they had no power over over the Egyptians. Father, your power remains the same. Father, your power remains constant. Father, use our power to deliver your people tonight. Afflictions that have gone from hand to hand. Yes, afflictions that have gone from hand to hand in my family. Let them end with me, O oh Lord. This affliction for the children of Israel, the people that start that were started with in the with the affliction in the early Exodus, they were all dead and gone. And these ones that came out, they were children upon children upon children upon children that were born. Ah, generations. I want you to pray that afflictions, oh Lord, that have gone from hand to hand in my family, especially affliction of sickness, especially demons, 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 family demons, family idols, family stools that have sat upon the family, demons that have stood as a familiar spirit in my family that troubled them in your family. Oh Lord God. Oh Lord God. Let them end with me, oh God. Let this affliction and this spirit causing it in my family. Let it lose its hold upon me, oh God. Take my name, oh Lord, out of the register of this afflicting spirit, of this afflicting power. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to pray that every giant, every giant in your family that is causing affliction and it has stayed there it has troubled grandfather great grandfather great great grandfather and here you are a father is troubling you also papa deliver me deliver me let it end with me oh lord spirits of darkness that have been at work in my family circle papa deliver me by your power deliver me by your fire in the name of jesus christ of nazareth come on pray 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 that afflictions that have stayed with your family lineage for long 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 time. I said afflictions that have stayed in your family line for long, long, long time. The Lord will deliver you. It will be terminated with you, O oh God. It will be terminated in your own time, O oh God. Father, let it be terminated in my own time. Affliction that has stayed in the family for long. It, has, it is so used to my family. Father, terminate it in my own life. Terminate it in my own time. Terminate the pain. Terminate the suffering. Terminate the affliction. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray against covenants, 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 covenants. Evil covenants that my ancestors have made. That have kept affliction to, to pro be prolonged. Month after month. Year after year. Century after century. Oh Lord, break them. Break the covenant for me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let the covenant of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary <clears throat> on the day of resurrection. Let that covenant cancel every evil covenant that is in my family that is prolonging afflictions, pains, and suffering for our family members. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that whatever you are under right now, now that other family members are under, the Lord will come and deliver you. The Lord will come and rescue you. That was what the problem in, in Egypt was. Every Israelite, every single one of them, rich or poor, young or old, they were under the same burden. They were under the same affliction. Father, I pray, oh Lord, look at my brothers, look at my sisters. Whatever is troubling them that is troubling me tonight, come and deliver me and release me from the affliction. The affliction that is upon them, that is upon me. Father, release me, release me, release me because of the covenant of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Lord, I bring the remember your covenant. Remember your covenant, you said it is finished. Oh Lord, every covenant that has prolonged affliction from year to year, let the covenant of it is finished. Put an end to it in my life, oh God. I want you to pray that as Goliath fell, yes, as Goliath fell before David. 
all giants of affliction in your life uh, will fall before you tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, all giants of affliction will fall, uh, even as Goliath fell before David, uh, especially bodily affliction. Uh, oh Lord, I want us to spend some time against bodily affliction tonight uh, as Goliath fell before David. Uh, all giants of bodily affliction, uh, let it fall off my body tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, all giants of bodily affliction. Let it fall off my body tonight. Oh Lord, giants of bodily affliction, giants of bodily suffering, giant of bodily pain. Fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off from me tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to ask the Lord, walk, 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 walk. Walk through every nook and corner of my body like you did in Egypt. You know, God walked through Egypt and he broke the yoke of affliction. I want you to pray, oh Lord, tonight before this prayer meeting is over in 15 minutes. Walk through every nook and corner of this body of mine. And as you did in Egypt, walk a great deliverance, bodily deliverance, bodily deliverance, bodily deliverance, bodily deliverance from affliction. Walk it for me, walk it for me, walk it for me, walk it for me. I want you to pray all health afflictions handed over from past generations. The Lord will deliver you the Lord will deliver you. Afflictions that your ancestors could not overcome during their own time. Afflictions that your ancestors could not overcome during their own time. It will end during your own time. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, every health affliction in this in these bodies of ours, Father, let them break. Let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. There is a lady I want us to pray for tonight night. Uh, she's a very, very, very regular person on this prayer line for many, many years. Uh, the enemy is trying to put an affliction on her right now. It's muscles passings. That's the best way I can describe it uh, because two people went to visit her today and they came back with this report that really troubles me. Uh, I want you to pray that whoever this woman of God is, uh, in the name of Jesus, she can't even talk uh, because the muscle of her mouth will be moving. The muscle of her face will be moving. The muscle of her hands will be moving. The muscle of her body, head, from head to toe, muscles passing all over her body, muscle moving. I want us to pray that the Lord will remove this affliction from her in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Papa, visit the sister that my brothers visited today in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray that you will go there in Queens and touch her. I believe she lives in Queens. The Lord will touch her. The Lord will deliver her. The Lord will remove this bodily affliction from this lady. She loves the Lord. She's done so many wonderful things that shows he loves Jesus. But someone has vowed, yay! Someone has vowed in her family giving her a list of people that they will kill. Can you believe that? Somebody wrote, it, wrote names and said, I will kill this one, I will kill this one, I will kill this one, I will kill this one. And he has succeeded in killing one or two or three of them. I want you to pray, my sister shall not be in the number. This woman of God will not be in the number. Every affliction should go back to sender. This person, this man, is a man that is sending this affliction all around family members. Uh, will take it back right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray that this will backfire. This will backfire. This will backfire in the name of Jesus. It will backfire upon them. Uh, in the name of Jesus. The man who said he will kill people in the family. I mean, people are just wicked. They spread pain. They spread suffering. I want you to pray that the Lord will break that yoke in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray for the lady I told you that has HIV. Well, the HIV in her now is even... Uh, it's, it's, it's gone down so much that it doesn't even show up again. I just want God to deliver her, even though it's still in her system, uh, that the Lord will deliver her from every affliction, uh, that this foolish man who has already died and gone uh, and left her in a world of pain and suffering, uh, the Lord will touch her and heal her. With the lady I just talked about, that one is not HIV, it's just an attack. Every attack. I want you to pray every attack of affliction, uh, every attack of pain in your body, uh, every attack of uh, uh, suffering uh, upon your life. Uh, the Lord will break the attack right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, and I'm laying my hand on myself uh, and I'm decreeing for myself tonight uh, every present attack that I'm under that is bringing 
me, hallelujah, affliction of pain, affliction of suffering, be gone from me right now. Fire of God, dry them up. Every physical affliction, every financial affliction of my life, every emotional affliction of my life, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for signs and for wonders. Egypt, Egypt saw signs and wonders, and the signs and wonders led to the release of Israel from Egypt. I want you to pray God will work mighty signs. Oh Lord, begin to work mighty wonders that will trigger my freedom from all pains, from all sufferings. Oh Lord, work mighty wonders in the eyes of the people who are troubling me. In the name of Jesus, work mighty signs for my wife. Work mighty signs for my husband. Work mighty signs for my boss. Whoever is bringing me pain and suffering. Oh Lord, wherever they are, let your mighty signs and your mighty wonders uh, cause them to let me go, uh, cause them to release me uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, uh, deliver us completely. Come on, pray, 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 pray. We've got about 10 more minutes. Uh, oh Lord, deliver us completely uh, from the hands of those who use us uh, and abuse us at the same time. Uh, that was what they did for them in Egypt. Oh, ah, they used them, they abused them, they used them, they abused use them. I want you to pray for divine rescue. Papa divinely intervene and completely, completely, completely rescue us from the hands of human users and human abusers, demonic users, demonic abusers. Father, deliver us from their hands completely, O Lord. Human beings that have turned us into their slaves, O Lord, deliver us, rescue us, deliver us, rescue us from human beings, from human powers that have turned us into to their slaves. Oh Lord, deliver us from their hands completely tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, come, 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 come. All on holy controls. Did you hear what I said? All on holy control. All on holy lordship. That anyone thinks that they have a right over my life, let it be broken tonight. Every control, every lordship over my life that is not the control of God, that is not the lordship of God. Break from my life. Remove from remove from my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray against spiritual controls. Yes. Unholy spiritual control. Demonic control. When they come and sleep with you in your sleep, that is a control. That is a controlling spirit. When they come and press you down in your sleep, that's an un unholy control. I want you to pray with whether spiritual or, what, or, or physical, every unholy control, every unholy lordship. Oh Lord, that anyone thinks, that any spirit thinks that they have over me, break by fire, 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 break by fire. Every unholy control, every unholy lordship over my life, that anyone thinks they have a right over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break free from you in the name of Jesus. I break free from you. You know what Paul the Apostle said? He said that if a man bring you into bondage, then you suffer. It's in the Bible. Oh. He said, if any man bring you into bondage, then you suffer. I want you to pray that the Lord will end every suffering from the hand of anyone that has brought you into bondage, from the hand of every man that has brought you into bondage, from the hand of every pastor that has brought you into bondage, from the hand of every boss that has brought you into bondage, from the hand of every husband, every wife, every parent, every child that has brought you into bondage, every wife to be that has brought you into bondage oh lord put an end to the suffering break the bondage don't let me be handed over to anyone who wants to bring me into bondage and where they have brought me into bondage break the bondage in the name of jesus spiritual users spiritual abusers deliver me deliver me deliver me deliver me deliver me from them i want you to pray that devils and demons that are 
afflicting you here and there. They will lose you and let you go in the name of Jesus. Like the children of Israel were loosed from Egypt and they were allowed to go. I want you to pray that devils and demons that are afflicting you here and there will lose you and let you go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every power of darkness that is afflicting me here and there, every unseen power, every unseen spirit that is afflicting me and controlling me. Oh Lord, here and there, loose me, let me go. Loose me, let me go. Loose me, let me go. I want you to pray that the Lord will bring you out of the house of slavery, spiritual slavery, physical slavery. Papa, bring me out, bring me out, bring me out from every house of slavery, every house of physical, yeah, every house of physical slavery, every house of spiritual slavery. Papa, bring me out, bring us out, bring me out, bring us out, bring me out, bring us out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They cried, oh, I love that. Who's going to pray more about that tomorrow? They cried to God. They cried for pain and they cried in prayer. I want you to pray that God will help you never to give up praying for complete freedom from all afflictions. You know, we pray for a while and we give up. We need to revive that. Those things you used to pray against and now you've taken them as normal. I want you to pray, Lord, help me to never give up praying against all afflictions. Oh, Lord, let me never give up praying for complete freedom from all afflictions. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that the Lord will empower you. Come and open your mouth. Say, Lord, give me power. Say, oh, Lord, give me power. Say, oh, Lord, give me power for day and night crying, for day and night intercession, for day and night crying, for day and night intercession, until my release comes, until my change comes. Oh, Lord, let me never stop crying. Let me never stop praying. Let me never stop crying. Let me never stop praying. Empower me, oh God, never to stop crying, never to stop praying in the name of Jesus. Power to fight the good fight of faith. I said power to fight the good fight of faith. Oh Lord, on my knees, against all afflictions, Papa, release it to us, release it to us, release it to us. There's no, no reason why we should be under bondage if we know how to cry. There is no reason. A, a war does not conquer a prayer warrior. Uh-uh. War does not conquer a prayer warrior. I want you to pray power to always fight the good fight. Or power to always fight the good fight of faith on your knees. The Lord will give it to you. The Lord will give it to you. The Lord will give it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You remember what I said to you in church a couple of years ago? What prayer cannot do? More prayer will do. What prayer cannot do? More prayer will do. What prayer cannot do? More prayer will do. I repeat, oh, what prayer cannot do? More prayer will do. I want you to pray, say, my Father, we are praying does not end my affliction. Yes, we are praying does not end my affliction. Help me to believe tonight that more praying will end my affliction. We are praying does not end my affliction. Help me to believe, to be convinced that more praying will end it. Because what prayer cannot do, more prayer will do. Oh Lord, pray, grace to press forward. Grace to press forward. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that you will not be numbered among those who have adjusted to a life of pain. Papa, deliver me from adjusting to a life of suffering. Deliver me from adjusting to a life of pain. Deliver me from adjusting from a life of people controlling me. People just manipulating me. Oh Lord, I refuse to be numbered among those who have adjusted to a life of pain, a life of suffering, a life of affliction. Papa, touch me not to adjust to those. If God does not want it for me, I don't want it for myself. I want you to repeat that now. Say, if God does not want it for me, I don't want it for myself. If God does not want it for me, I don't want it for myself. Everything that Jesus Christ died for, oh Lord, deliver me from them. Every affliction that Jesus died for. Did you hear what I said? Say, oh Lord. Say, oh Father. Say, oh God. Every affliction, every pain, every suffering that Jesus Christ died for. Papa, set me free, set me free, set me free, set me free, set me free. In the name of Jesus. Everything that Jesus shed his blood for. Every pain that Jesus shed his blood for. Every affliction, every suffering that Jesus shed his blood for. Papa, deliver.
deliver me from them tonight in the name of Jesus. Everything looks so hopeless for Israel, but God came through. I want you to pray. Whatever situation looks hopeless for me, whatever affliction is so bad, whatever pain is so bad, that the doctor say you have to live with this for the rest of your life. Oh Lord, the rest of my life shall be lived without pain. The rest of my life shall be lived without affliction. I refuse to accept this as my cross. Oh Lord, I will not carry the cross that Jesus Christ carried. I want you to do it for me, oh Lord. Every bondage that looks impossible, every bondage that looks hopeless, oh Lord, help me to overcome. 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 Every bondage that looks hopeless, every bondage that looks impossible, help me to overcome. 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 I want you to prove that with you all things are possible by setting me free from all difficult pains, by setting me free from all difficult suffering. Prove, oh God, that you are the one with whom all things are possible. Don't only give me relief. Give me release. 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 Give me release. Give me relief. Give me relief. Give me release from all my pains, from all my sufferings, from all my afflictions, as you did for the children of Israel. You gave them relief, but not just relief. You gave them release. Papa, hey, relief me, release me, relief me, release me, relief me, release me from all my pains, from all my sufferings. In the name of Jesus. Our time is gone. We'll continue tomorrow. We'll pray about the 11 points that I brought up tonight. We'll pray about them tomorrow. In the meantime, let's just give God the praise for tonight. We'll give you the praise. We'll give you the glory. We'll give you the honor. Papa, we give you the dominion. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to pray tonight. Thank you for giving us the strength to pray tonight. Thank you for giving us the faith to pray tonight. We are more than conquerors over all our pains, over all our afflictions. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. I feel that I need to pray for those of you the pain is no longer in your life, but it has crippled you. I'm not talking about crippled you physically. It has crippled you emotionally. That when you want to move forward, you remember this pain and the thing you went through, and it's hard for you to move forward. I pray that God will break that fear in you and release you to go and enjoy your life and the freedom that Jesus Christ offered us on the cross of Calvary. I pray for you that our deliverer will deliver you from past pains, present pains, and even future pains in the name of Jesus. Be free and be free indeed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, tomorrow. Ah, please. Don't go anywhere tomorrow. Be back with us because we're going to focus on those 11 thoughts that I shared with you earlier tonight. They will be where our prayer points will come from and they are powerful. I already prepared the prayer points for tomorrow. So really, I just have to revise it, add to it, subtract from it. It's there. It's about 50 something prayer points. Plan to be here tomorrow. It's going to be a blessed time. Let's share the grace as we go and lay down and rest for the evening. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, Stay blessed.